my neighbor came around. They started talking about fryers, like deep fryers, uh, and how dangerous they are. And that's when he, he was thinking, like, maybe this could be safer. Fred became totally obsessed with creating a way to cook delicious crispy fries without the danger and calories of hot oil. His first step was creating a fan-powered prototype. Well, this is the very first air fryer. This is the huge wooden monster that my dad built. <laughs> if you can see here, this is how he made it, with aluminium and chicken wire. Fred dubbed his chicken coop cooker the Freet Air and used it to make mountains of fries for the family. Oh, they were terrible. So uh, <laughs> they were coming out um, still a bit frozen, but the tips were burned and they were all sweaty and, and kind of floppy-ish. Even with the fan, Fred wasn't getting the right airflow and his frites weren't frying evenly. He needed a way to see what that air was up to. My dad and his colleagues, they stood in a circle around this big machine um, and got as many cigarettes as they could in their mouths and all started uh, blowing the smoke up the machine to see where the smoke went and see if the technology works or not. And the result of all of that finessing was the first iteration of Emile's four-armed starfish. This is the very first idea of the rapid air technology, the, the cross. All of Fred's time, energy and money went into refining his fryer designs. It led to a lot of fights in the house. And uh, I, I believe at some point I thought he was just living in the garage. He couldn't lose faith. That was the whole thing. He, he was betting on this horse and this horse alone, and we don't have anything else, so we need this horse to win the race. But after four years and near bankruptcy, Fred perfected the Freet Air and started pitching it to manufacturers. Dutch brand Philips loved it and bought Fred's patent. I remember exactly uh, when he got the news. He came out of the garage with tears in his eyes. He said, they said yes. And they wired the first amount and we don't need to sell the house and we don't need to, and we're <laughs> getting all emotional <laughs> thinking about it. But uh, yeah, we, we all, there, there was this, this, this weight coming off our shoulders. But Phillips did make one pretty big change the name. He came home and he said, yeah, so it's not the free air. No, it's the air fryer. I was like, air fryer? What, what kind of name is air fryer? <laughs> After going on sale in 2010, Fred was able to watch it steadily grow in popularity before he passed away. I'm really proud. Yeah. yeah and I can't wait to tell my kids that their granddad <laughs> invented the air fryer. Since Fred's first cooker hit the shelves, around 80 million air fryers have been sold. And at the heart of every single one is a powerful fan. 